Hey, how are you guys? Um, Barry Wheeler here again, doing uh, the real estate blog part two. First home buyers or buying your first home. Um, sorry about the delay there, guys. Um, we just uh, had a few difficulties, still trying to set up the camera and get it all sorted and make sure everything's going well. Um, thanks again for an amazing response to uh, the, the first part of this of this blog um, we've uh, I've had been swamped with with questions and and um, support so thanks heaps guys um, as I said last week try and keep it uh, short and sweet um, so I won't um, dilly dally and, and and muck around too long we'll get right into it um, I only got about halfway through my uh, my notes last week so that's why we ended up breaking it down a little bit um, for you um, so I won't, uh, won't muck around too much longer. Uh, the next point I had on my list was around renovations. Um, I uh, Just around making sure the renovations of your property have been done well um, and been done properly. Um, there are, um, I have noticed a, a lot of conveyances these days are making sure that you guys are... Um, or buyers are, are, are ensuring that everything was done uh, above board. Um, well, then again, in this market, um, when you when you come across renovations, it's it really is up to you. But as a first home buyer, sometimes it's um, it's prudent to check that they've been done and been got the the uh, the proper approvals and things like that. So good idea to check that they've all done being have been done uh, properly um, and ask the question. Um, as I've mentioned to you a couple of times, it's, uh, it doesn't hurt. Um, <clears throat> the next one is around your bid for your or your offer, um, your, your, your contract, however you want to word it. Um, you can sometimes get a little bit creative with with your offer. So um, if you want to um, outbid uh, the competition or, or make sure it's as strong as possible you can do little things like make it uh, an uneven number make sure you've got strong deposits there um, limit the amount of key issues you've got on there but at the end of the day get creative see if you can um, make it as strong as you can um, I've mentioned that before um, but uh, only no, uneven numbers and strong deposits are probably two of the big things that you can have a look at there um, Another one that I think is worth mentioning is landscaping. Um, don't overlook landscaping. Um, you can, uh, updates to the exterior of the home can be just as important, sometimes just as costly to do yourself um, if you leave them. Um, so make sure that you, you have a look at that um, and make sure that it's something that you can do or that you're willing to do moving into a new home. Um, one of the other uh, things, and probably leading leading from that, is um, the have a look at the price you're going to pay, and sometimes, not always, but sometimes it might be worth paying that extra little bit of money to save you a little bit of work in the long run. Um, I know uh, a lot of people, including myself, going around looking at my first time, looking at bits and pieces, and, and thinking. Hey, look, I, uh, this is great, and I can probably do that, or, or I can do this and, and make it beautiful and make it um, key for me. Now, make sure that you're ready to do that work, um, because y you might find a property that that already has those done. It can save you the bother and, and, and the hassle and the expense of having to to update those um, yourself. Um, <clears throat> the other one, uh, or one that I have, um, sort of. Uh, mentioned in the past um, is around your deposit um, and your savings up front so make sure it's that you've got enough money to put down the deposit to save you some money going forward or to do things like your, your improvements to the in internal or external of the house um, to uh, buy that extra bit of furniture so that you're not stuck with a two-seater couch uh, and that's it in the lounge room. Um, a lot of people moving from rentals into bigger houses underestimate the amount of stuff that they don't have. So make sure that you're aware that uh, you may need a little bit of extra money there um, as well. 
Now, uh, uh, one that is coming out quite a lot recently is um, around buy declarations. Because the market in Hobart is so hot, many of you um, are being asked, and, and it's quite rightly, to sign buy declarations. For those that are not aware of what they are, in a, um, in a market that's so hot, there's quite often um, multiple offers on a property. Um, now, a good agent will ask you uh, to make you aware that there are competing offers and ask you to sign a declaration which simply says that you're aware there's other offers on the property um, and that you'll make your offer uh, as strong as possible because there quite possibly is not going to be another opportunity. Um, and uh, the, the agent may not come back to you, which is both fair to you and to the other other vendor as far as um, those decorations go. So just be aware of that and, and don't be scared of them. Just make sure that uh, if there are competing offers there and you are um, interested in the property, that you make sure that your offer is strong. Um, and again, as I've mentioned to you before, um, that it is um, what you would pay for the property and, and not a cent more so that you can walk away happy. But if you missed out, Hey, look, that's fine because you you weren't prepared to pay more than that. Um, look, that's all. Bit of a short and sweet one tonight, just to top up on those extra bits of notes, uh, extra bits and pieces that I didn't get to on Friday. Um, there will be another one later in the week. We'll have a look at uh, that over the next day or so. But uh, looking forward to to seeing you all again and and getting that tremendous feedback. So keep that coming. Again, share it around to anyone else that you think might um, might benefit from it uh, and let me know if you've got anything else you'd like me to address moving forward uh, thanks again guys cheers see you later